morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. All right, traders, here we are. It is Thursday. The FOMC or Fed meeting came out. They're not touching rates. Basically, that's what the charts told us. And, you know, as I've mentioned in many videos, that reading the analysis and then trading is like reading a story and you have to read along with what part of the story you are in right now and it doesn't matter if you don't like flags or if you don't like moving averages or if you don't like head and shoulders formations you still have to deal with them if that's the flavor of the week and we have been hovering below just hanging out below the huge head and shoulders formations, they are still hovering above the market. And we've been sitting below them. We had come down from the big head and shoulders and dropped a bit. Now it appears to be going up and maybe testing the right shoulder, which will likely fail and send us down even lower. But that's thinking too far ahead for day traders, right? So where we are in the story for Thursday, June 26, 2008, is that we are below the head and shoulders and the markets have come to pay respect to the Omni's Trading Academy's moving average, our proprietary average. Many of the indices have just come down and hit those averages and have popped back out. So where are we? We're below a big moving, um, a big head and shoulders formation, which looks bearish. There are smaller head and shoulders formations within them, but we just bounced off that average I was telling you about in three out of four indices. And I think a couple of day bounce comes our way. Let's see what we're going to get. We have a green Omni for tomorrow. I like the green Omnis. We have a green Omni for the S&P and the NASDAQ. For tomorrow, as I said, June 26, 2008, for trading on Thursday. Really, Wednesday night into Thursday, all the way through Thursday's close. That's what this video is geared for. So with that in mind, I'd like to show you a few charts to sum up that whole little conversation we just had. Let me show you what I'm talking about, about the head and shoulders and the respect being paid to the proprietary moving average. And we'll go from there. Traders, let's go look at the charts. Okay, traders, the first chart you're looking at is the Dow Jones Transportation Average. And I believe that is the leader of the other indices. That does have the head and shoulders formation, as you can clearly see with those three circles illustrating it. But the right shoulder is not completely formed. And look at how we just came down to this average, then bounced off of it. Boom. Hit the average yesterday and bounced, or I should say two days ago, tested it again on Wednesday and rallied out of it. There is decent resistance above the market, but for day traders, that would make a nice trade if it actually ran up and hit that resistance for us. There's a day trade there for sure. So with the respect it's paid to the Omni's um, proprietary moving average, I'm looking at the upside as well as the indicators and how the other indices are behaving around the transportation average. But there is a good look. Yes, overall, we are bearish. The head and shoulders is in place. But with day traders, it can take a little pop out of the market before it makes up its mind how far it really wants to go. It is a prudent thing to do when the indicators begin to line up and the other indice markets that are wrapped around it. So let's see what you come up with. Let's go look at a couple of more charts here. Okay, next you are looking at the NASDAQ September daily bar chart. And as you can see, once again, the NASDAQ came right down to the proprietary average and boom, bounced right off of it and put in a decent sized move towards the upside on Wednesday and will likely come up and test this resistance, which is part of the channel that we're in right now. And if it rallies up and it can hit that resistance, not so bad. We should be able to get a day trade out of that one as well. As you can see, it did hold the average and we really do pay attention to that average. Basically, when you're below it, you stay below it. And when you're above it, you stay above it. So why not pay mind to it? Yes, there is another head and shoulders formed right here. And we need to be careful of that. But even while it's forming the right shoulder, it can certainly go up and down within that shoulder. And that's what we're looking for. Take a look at your charts, Trey, to see what you come up with. Let's take a look at a couple more charts here. Okay, traders, the next chart before your eyes is the E-mini Russell September daily bar and another indice market that really pays respect to this average. You can see right from the start of the chart, 
Every time you get near this average, you get a lot of respect paid towards it. And boom, it bounced right off of it and rallied two days in a row. And another chart that has a channel. And why not go up and cut, test the upside resistance of that channel right here? So I think we have the makings of a nice bullish dare to run. Maybe we'll get a dare or two out of it. We are day traders, so we'll take what we can get. But that is good cause for you to think there may be some buyers looking at this market for Thursday. The next chart we're going to look at is the S&P September daily bar. Okay, traders, now you are looking at the September daily bar for the S&P chart. And you can see once again, there is that head and shoulders formation, although the right shoulder is not complete. And within the head is another smaller head and shoulders formation. So that is absolutely longer term bearish on the market. However, the market has turned right here and put in what we like to call a swing day and started to rally up. And you've seen the other indices, how much respect they paid to that average. Well, oddly enough, we are below that average in the S&P. So I'm certainly not falling in love with any upside here because the Dow Jones Industrial Average chart is also below the Omni's proprietary average. So you can see there's a conflict in which way this market wants to go. Again, luckily with day traders, the signals tell us that we should be looking for the upside, not the downside. So let's see what we get, traders. Pull your own charts. Do your own homework and tell me if you agree or disagree with this signal and only take signals that you absolutely agree with after doing your own homework. So, you see those charts, traders? Just like I pointed out to you, there they are before your eyes. Don't forget, no matter what this market does over the very short term, tomorrow into the next day, the head and shoulders formations are still hovering above the indices in all of the indice charts. Just like I pointed out here on these charts I just showed you. So keep that in mind. Be very nimble with if you get long in this environment. When you get profit, take it and run. We do have our parameters here for tomorrow, though. In the S&P, the September, the ESU8 for the E-mini. The green Omni tells us, Omni says to buy on a dip into the mid to low 1300s, really in the teens. As we get under 1320 and get down into the teens, you need to get long the S&P down there. There was also a NASDAQ trade on our site, which will coincide with the, with the S&P trade. As we pull into a dip, you need to get yourself long down there. Always place your stops, traders, no matter what market you're trading in, place your stops first. A stop is your best friend. And in this game, you can be wiped out like that. It's a very, very risky game trading commodities. And don't kid yourself, one of the best things you can do to avoid that risk is get your stops in and put them in before you even get into a trade. So keep that in mind, get those stops in. All right, Omni says to buy it as it gets into the 13 teens, down in the 1300s, somewhere below 1320, above 1310, right there in the teens area, you're gonna look to get long. Omni, the objective on this, the profit objective, is the high 1340s. We get a nice little pop out of this if the buyers come in, if the technicals prove to be right. Are they right every day? Well, traders, I wish they'd be right every day, but you've seen me do video after video, and we are certainly more right than wrong when it comes to calling the direction for the day and where you should get in and where you should get out, and that is pure technical analysis that does that for us. It's got nothing to do with a crystal ball because I don't think they're already out there. I don't believe they exist. If you have one, send it in. I'd gladly buy it from you. But I don't think they're out there and there is no holy grail. The best that we can do is do our analysis and come up with a good winning strategy or at least a good sound strategy and then act that trade out. So the moral strategy again is buying it as it gets into the 1300s, the SEP S&P. And then look for the 1340s to get ourselves out. Now, on the way up, we expect resistance at around 1333. And if it gets above that, around 1339. Two areas where the market may have trouble if, in fact, we get lucky and it starts to rally. Do your own homework on that. Make sure you agree with those trades before you even consider getting in on the long side. All right, traders. So where we left off, had a little baseball party, right? That barbecue was really, really good. 
A lot, a lot of little kids, 50 plus little kids in the pool, running all over the place. All the parents were there. We had a blast. But one of those little buggers left me with a little bug, knocked me on my butt for two days. I had to trade from the couch. But I feel so much better now, so back out in front of the camera. I've caught up on my emails. So anyone that sent me an email for the last few days, I'm caught up already. So check your email, check your email boxes, check your inboxes and see if I've replied to you. And um, I'm not going to do too much for this video. It's my first, uh, you know, my first full day back at work and I'm really enjoying it. And uh, you'll find us at the site as always doing analysis, working with one another in the chat rooms with the cameras on. Please come on down to the site. It's www.livewithoscar.com. Grab yourselves a free membership and see what it is we do there. We are an educational facility, traders. We are there to help you learn how to get the charts right, how to read them right, what the indicators mean, and how to apply them to the markets going forward. So come on down and see if we can help you. Because I'll tell you what, from the replies I get from thousands of Omniacs, I'm certainly helping them. This whole place, this whole site we have really seems to be doing a good job. You guys, a round of applause to you. I have, I have a crew that backs me up better than I could have ever dreamed, traders. They are behind me to be behind you to help you learn this craft. So make sure you come on down and join us in the chat rooms. All right, traders, give me a call anytime there or night, 702-629-4755. And again, speaking of emails, shoot some emails out to me if you will. The email address is oscar at futuresanalysts.com. All right, traders, I'm out of here. Remember to say to Steve Sebs every morning, every afternoon, every evening. Say it when you're placing trades and saying it. Definitely say it while you're getting wrong underneath the big head and shoulders formation because, boy, you're going to need it to pull the trigger on that trade. And you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.